Okay, today's video is going to be a real small one um, on this particular rifle, which is kind of big. I'm going to put it in frame here. It is an M14 spring rifle. Now, I don't have the box anymore because it got wet. It was in a garage. A uh, guy had it in a garage and then finally gave it to me and it was sitting out in the weather uh, in a shed and the box just disintegrated. But I am... I could not find any markings on here, but I swear the box said it was a UTG M14, Spring M14. Uh, so I looked up what I could find on it from what I could see, and it was said it was shooting, you know, it has a, like exorbitant like claims using .12s, uh, which is always like 400 with .12s. Well, it was shooting 280 with point two O's. Um, I think it's a 30 round mag. I love it that the follower comes up above here to push the BBs out so all the BBs come out of the the uh, magazine. I don't, I don't even see that the follower is uh, up there. Anyway, little history on this gun. This gun originally sold for like $39. Uh, it's a spring gun. Uh, one of my teammates had it, gave it to us for somebody to use if they came to the field. Well, it had an aluminum barrel in it, a goofy hop up, a busted up bucking. So when you would shoot .20s from it, you'd get one going like 50 feet, goes to the right. Next one goes to the left. Next one goes straight up. Next one goes straight down. No matter what you did with the hop up, it was all over the place. First thing I did was tear the gun apart, and the gun itself uh, weighed like, I forget what it weighed, but it was like very heavy. Okay, just so I can accur accurately talk about it, I just measured it or weighed everything. There, the gun was weighing about seven pounds, okay, which is not that heavy. But when I took it apart, the thing that I found out first was this bag of three and a half pounds of rusty bars. Now, I'm gonna lift one of these out of here just so you can see it. Rusty bar. Look at that thing. There's two in the stock, two in the handguard. All right, and a bunch of other little ones all through the gun. It was supposed to be giving it, I guess, a more realistic weight. But there's over three and a half pounds of metal. Now, the gun with the scope on it, with the scope, weighs three pounds. I mean, it is incredibly light. You can hold it forever. The camel wrapping I had on here because we were using it in the winter before I uh, had my accident and messed up my leg has a nice little small... Uh, 4x scope on it which is got crooked I guess banging it around doesn't help but anyway 4x scope and I'm gonna explain what I did with the gun after ripping it apart getting all the metal out of it first thing I noticed was the aluminum barrel that was in here came to like right at the like way back here so you have like about another six inches of, of gun where that aluminum barrel was just blowing out through the big outer barrel. So what I did is I found an AEG barrel that would work in this that went right from the hop up all the way to right here at the end of the gun. Okay, which gave this a longer, a longer barrel. Also used an, uh, an AEG buck, a brand new AEG bucking on it. And because the hop up was a press fit in there there was no way to hold the barrel or whatever in there so what I had to do is hot glue the barrel into the bucking it's or into the hop-up chamber itself and I also added some spacers three spacers in the gun so the barrel doesn't rattle around because there's a big area in here where it was sitting and there was nothing to hold it. So I put three spacers in here and the barrel solid in there and it doesn't move around. 
immediately, and well, let me keep going here. The cylinder, I took the cylinder all apart, put no O ring on it, on the piston that was in there. Very simplistic piston. And I was getting a pretty decent air seal. You could push it and it would give you some pressure back on it, which was awesome. Uh, shot the gun, shooting three, it, originally shooting 280 with two O's, very inconsistently. Now it's shooting 376 with two O's, and I'm getting out to 125 feet, hitting a 12-inch pipe pan, which is phenomenal in my opinion. One of the biggest, that once I had the gun back together, it had a rail on the top. I, I put the camo on here just for the winter playing that we were doing. But one of the big things that I had a problem with, and you probably can see it in the video here, is this big handle that I put on here. Okay, it's right there. See how monstrous that is? That's actually a piece of wood. It had this little tiny handle, which you could barely get a finger. You'd get one and a half fingers on to pull back. You know, and if you're using your two first fingers or you're using your pinky finger and your little one, by the time you pull this back three, four times, your hand was getting sore. So what I did is I put this big piece of wood on here, and it looks monstrous, but it's it's pinned in, and then it's it's JB welded in there as well. So you got a good grip. You can get three fingers on this easy to pull it back and get the good firing on it so pulling this back it's got some heft to it now pulling it back I did put a little bit I did put some spacers on the spring too but that's all the gun had right there you don't want to go any higher and it's actually shooting pretty good I was shooting it with 0.30's getting out to 125 feet sure it's only shooting about 270 with 3 O's, but it was hitting people they were feeling it now I did bang this scope and it's off it's moving a little bit so it's a little loose I gotta tighten that back down um, I did have this rail that I put on here and I have glued this on so maybe the rail is crooked but anyway I have it sighted in so that it works and it actually got a nice 4x scope on here which gives it a nice feel and it's just about all you need for when you're shooting. So this gun originally cost me nothing, but originally cost $39 if you'd buy it. The AG barrel and the bucking I had, the spacers I put in for the, that I had as well, the 4X scope was like 20 bucks. It had a little single mount that I put on it, and a little piece of uh, rail. It came with a monolithic rail on here, but the rail from here back is a piece that I had that I put on and tied it together. So I could put the little 4X scope on here. And it works like a champ. So for practically nothing, I, uh, I put it together and it shoots pretty decent. And you have 30 rounds in here, which in a game playing a sniper, like in the winter, this worked out good. I might take this uh, white wrap off here and uh, off here and then just uh, play with the black. Um, but interesting interesting mag setup here the the wraps a little bit in front of it covering up the hop up but you just slide it in there good to go feeds every baby too which is ironic on this particular gun I might take this as a secondary for like when you go to a, a game and if somebody says oh I broke my gun or I did this hand them this and say go to it like at 125 feet 150 feet maybe you could be a sniper. Somebody wants to try out being a sniper, give them a mag full of three O's, say go to town. I'll bet you a dime they'd have a good time with it. I have the hop up adjusted. It adjusts now too to run with the three O's and they go out there pretty straight. Um, it's not a tight bore barrel but it does the job and for limited money it was a good project. So. This is just a little short video on this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I've been doing a lot of this stuff lately. I haven't been doing the videos on them. Uh, there's been a lot of guns that I've worked on just playing around because of an injury, an airsoft injury that I have. I shattered my right leg and broke my left collarbone. Left collarbone's healed up now, but I'm on my ninth week on this shattered leg. So I don't get around too much. I don't play no airsoft, so I'm working on guns when I can, and I'm putting together some projects when I uh, have some time. So I hope you enjoyed this video and 
if somebody wants to try something like this on a, a spring sniper, it's fun. It takes a little patience because when you take it all apart, it explodes in a big fiery ball of death because it's all parts all over the place. So you just got to watch when you're putting it back, taking it apart and putting it back together. Other than that, the gun is extremely light, weighing three pounds. Um, and even though it's got low FPS, it does hit people and they do feel them with 3 O's. So it's a fun gun to shoot and it only costs less than $40 to buy probably with the scope and the mount and the piece of rail probably another you know 30 bucks in it so for under 60 bucks or you know under 70 bucks I have a little spring sniper rifle that I can lend out to somebody and I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it if they break it or damage it in any way so hope you enjoyed the video and as always you guys have a good day